the Biden administration facing heavy backlash from 18 energy and consumer advocacy organizations for its plan to crack down on gas stoves for the climate agenda. One organization known as the Competitive Enterprise Institute is arguing that potential regulations on stovetops would compromise consumer choice. Joining us now, Competitive Enterprise Institute senior fellow Ben Lieberman. Really appreciate you being here. Is this all about consumer choice? It's a lot about consumer choice because uh, consumers can decide for themselves whether they're better off with an electric stove or a natural gas stove. It's not up to the government to push consumers in one direction or another, and especially when they're not doing it for the benefit of the consumer, they're doing it for some climate agenda that actually hurts consumers. But so far, Ben, everything, uh, you know, that this administration is pushing hurts consumers and yet somehow keeps moving forward. So is it really possible to put this gas stove genie back in the bottle? I think it might be because the underlying statute that gives the Department of Energy the authority to regulate uh, uh, appliance efficiency requires that it be done in the best interest of consumers. And that includes protections against standards that compromise product features and performance. And with this standard, gas stoves will have to cut corners in order to comply. For example, the very highest heat burners that, uh, that some cooks need for things like searing or stir frying or just to heat up a big pot of water in a reasonable period of time, those high heat burners will have to be reduced. This is not what consumers want. And so the consumer protections in the law, I think, give, uh, give us a, a fighting chance should we challenge this in court. Of course, the, the agency hasn't finalized the rule yet. It's always possible they may back off. That's not likely. The other thing that may happen is that Congress may take a look at this. They can uh, certainly repeal any regulation they don't like. And I know that the House of Representatives mm -hmm. has already shown an interest in these gas stove regulations. Ben, I would think the administration's going after this so hard because it must have some really big, significant impact on the environment. Mm -hmm. Does banning gas stoves have a big, significant impact in making the world a greener place? The future impact on the Earth's temperature would have so many lead zeros before you get to a digit, it'd be hard to, uh, to, to keep track of it all. Gas stoves or, or, or stoves in general are very small energy users. They're only about 3% of a household's energy use. So an efficiency standard that would reduce that 3% to maybe 2.7%. It's, it's so trivial that it, 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 even calling it a rounding error would, would be giving it too much credit. <laughs> Ben Lieberman, thank you so much. We really appreciate you having on this uh, program. Next time, we'll make sure that we have more time. And you guys remember, they originally told us it was about our consumer health. Right. And now it's about climate. So maybe the narrative has changed. He had a good point. Point zero 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 four degrees Celsius would be the change by 2050. I think it's even more zeros before the four than that. Here's the word. I love the word he used. Trivial. Mm. It's trivial in terms of its effect. And it's costly for us.